Okay, uh, hello everyone. I'm product manager Tony. Today, uh, we are going to introduce a new feature called the uh, QLog Center in QTS 4.5.1. It's a very useful tool for many people. Before the introduction, uh, I would like to ask you uh, when you check the system logs. Uh, usually we check system log because we got some trouble or some notification from uh, the NAS system. But the NAS record the uh, logs all the day. Can we uh, use those logs to give us some more useful information. Uh, what kinds of information uh, we may need? The first uh, could be the uh, what kinds of application or what kinds of service are uh, being used by the user uh, the most often. Uh, besides maybe the IP address, uh, where and who access the NAS, and the uh, uh, past maybe uh, uh, get some trouble and they fail to log in to the NAS. Uh, of course, uh, if we have time, we can check the log uh, and get the same information. But uh, you know, uh, we usually uh, users are very busy, so uh, can we have a tool that can help us to uh, collect the information and also give us some summary report. Uh, that's the QTS uh, Q, uh, Log Center can provide. So uh, let take, uh, let's take a look at the brand new Q Log Center. Q Log Center uh, supports four major features. Uh, the first one is proactive analysis. Second is quick filtering. That is uh, unified management. Proactively uh, analyze a variety of statistics can provide some very useful information so that we don't need to check the log uh, one by one or we have uh, no need to remember many uh, extra information. So what kinds of the uh, information we can get from Q Log Center? Uh, we can see uh, there are some summary, uh, for example, such as the top five ranking of the application for error logs or warning logs. And we can see the system access statistical report on Q Log Center. Uh, for example, like uh, connection type, or uh, who log in from where, and who failed to log in. Quick filtering can support the log viewing by groups. The group can be categor categorized by app name or date. Besides, the advanced search can support custom tag and custom style and flag. Uh, Find your own color for log content. Uh, for example, if you want to focus on some keyword and each time the log a record message, you want to see the highlight color, you can change the flag and use the flag to see the highlights on the log center. Monitoring online members is also supported in Q log center. Okay, uh, let's have a brief live demo. Uh, please switch to the uh, demo screen. Okay, here we are. 
uh, we have uh, a NAS that's already uh, installed QLock Center. Okay, so first let's let's launch the QLock Center app. Okay, uh, in the left panel we can see overview item, local devices, uh, local device. Uh, QLock service and notification setting. Uh, we have a system event log, system access log, online user log setting, and send the log, or receive the log from uh, other NAS. And we can see the sender devices list here. First, we, see, uh, we can see the system event log statistic an overview page. Then there are uh, two uh, panel on the overview. The first one is top five applications for error log. Uh, the other one is top five applications for warning logs. Now you can see uh, in, in this case uh, the user management application or uh, user system has two error logs. And on the multimedia console, they have a 27 warning. So uh, if you want to know the detail of the uh, log message, you can just click the item here. Then the Q log center uh, can show you the more detailed information. So you can get the information you required very quickly. Uh, let's back to overview page. The next one is system access log. Okay, we can see the NAS has uh, many different kinds of connection type that's used by the users. Uh, for example, like uh, SMB, FTP, HTTP, uh, the log in, uh, log in from uh, many different uh, IP addresses. Uh, we would like to know who access the NAS uh, more often, so we can click hit this button. Then we can see uh, the guest account access the NAS very open, very often. That means uh, the NAS has a public folder, shared folder for uh, many users. Uh, of course, we uh, would like to know who failed to log in. Uh, in the statistic, we can see there are three, and of course, we would like to know who failed to log in. We can click here, we can see uh, we got a admin, Bob account, and other account. So let's uh, do a simple test. Let me uh, log out the NAS. and uh, try different account and with a wrong password. Okay, let's log in again. Now relaunch QLock Center app. On the system access log statistic, You can see the account we just try uh, already here. So that you can see uh, the statistical summary can help user uh, to understand uh, who failed to log in uh, almost immediately. Okay, the next is system event log. You can see we got uh, uh, 8,824 8, logs here. So there are so many. Uh, how to find the log uh, we would like to, uh, to see? Uh, there are many convenient functions so, uh, that uh, we can use. The first is the tag. Here we just want to see the error log. So we can uh, uncheck other Tap, then the Q log center can show 
all the log are uh, very quickly. Uh, let's back to normal. And we would like to uh, have a more convenient way to see the log uh, listing. Then we can click the grouping mode item here. Uh, we can see uh, there are many items such as by app, by day, by content, by user, or by source IP address. So let's try by app. Then we can see uh, there are many uh, different apps with uh, their logs. So uh, we, will, we would like to see the detail of each log. So we can click. Then we see all the logs of the app center in this case. So it's very convenient. Now uh, let's see system access log. Uh, the same, we uh, can see that uh, this account we just tried already uh, record on the log list. Then, uh, of course, we like to see uh, how to find others. So we can uh, click the group grouping mode. Now we can see uh, there are three ways to categorize the old logs. Uh, by day, by user, by source IP address. So let's choose by user. Then the system this all the user accessing log. Then uh, we like to see the uh, uh, this account. So we can uh, emit. We can very quickly understand this account access the NAS by NFS protocol very often. So uh, that's why we say uh, QLog Center uh, is more powerful uh, than before. Okay, the next is online user. Uh, you can see how many users already online uh, with what kinds of connection type to the NAS. Uh, log setting can uh, configure the destination, uh, maximum number of entries, or uh, Log uh, retention ties, for example. Uh, in this Q, uh, this new Q log center, uh, some use uh, some people will ask. Uh, I would like to configure the SS log protocol items. Uh, where, uh, where can I find it? Uh, you can check here SS log setting and uh, connection types. You can choose what kinds of service or protocol you want to get the logs. Okay, uh, that's the log setting for local device. Uh, if you want to send the NAS log to other place, for example, like uh, uh, the other NAS, you can choose log standard option. Here you can add new destination uh, we already add one, so uh, later we can see the uh, the other NAS uh, Q log center. Uh, if you want to uh, let other NAS to send the log to this NAS, you can enable the uh, log receiver server here and. Uh, configure the system event log setting or system access log setting uh, to store uh, the log logs from other NAS. Okay, let's switch to uh, another NAS to see how the log store uh, on another NAS. Let's choose this one. Uh, this one is a QTS Hero NAS. Uh, the Q log center uh, is already uh, installed on the NAS. Okay, there are some difference to the uh, the other one. Here you can see there's a list. That means that you can choose the NAS. Uh, that send the log to the to this NAS. We can click this one, and we can see the 
statistics are almost the same. So let's check the last log from the other one. Uh, here you can see system event log are almost the same and system access log is the same. Uh, this account we just try, uh, so you can see the log already uh, being sent to this NAS uh, uh, for the uh, storing. Okay, uh, this is a, a very simple uh, demo for QLog Center. Uh, okay, let's back to the presentation slide. So uh, QLog Center uh, integrate uh, management and can support local and remote host to record uh, logs uh, for the consolidation. Uh, it's, very, uh, it's very useful for uh, the people who own many NAS. For the local NAS units, the system event uh, logs, system access history, online users, and Record setting can be configured on the QLog Center. Besides, the uh, log space can be configured uh, for different uh, settings uh, depending on the demand. Uh, if you want to configure the uh, consolidation of log collection, you can configure QLog Center's uh, send log or receive log services. Uh, for se uh, for send sending log, uh, there are two uh, types that are supported in QLog Center. Uh, one is send to QLog Center. Uh, that means uh, you, uh, have, uh, you have to have uh, one QNAP NAS send a log to a standard system log server. Uh, this slide shows the log to uh, the other QNAP NAS for a centralized uh, log storage. Of course, you can use the same setting uh, transfer the, log, uh, the NAS logs uh, to a standard system log server. Uh, so, uh, the QLog Center uh, in QNAP NAS can support multiple devices. And you can just uh, browse all the NAS log in one uh, NAS console. Of course, uh, by using Notification Center, you can configure the QLog Center keyword or some policy. So that uh, you can uh, send system access recur uh, logs or uh, even uh, even logs uh, by the uh, configuration. Uh, if you already install or upgrade to QTS 4.5.1 in Q, uh, QTS uh, QNAP NAS, you can see the QLog Center uh, on the uh, QTS desktop and you can try it uh, anytime. Uh, for the QTS Hero, the 4.5.1 version uh, will come in soon. Uh, if you use QTS Cloud Edition, you can find QLog Center in 4.5.3 uh, version. Okay, uh, that's our uh, new feature, QLog Center's introduction. I hope you uh, can try it and give us your comment or feedback anytime. Uh, we would like to improve it uh, to give uh, our customer more convenient uh, log uh, features uh, in the future. And uh, thank you for your watching today. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.